Hey, this is Eric from Cafe Watercolor. Welcome to this week's Tip Tuesday. Today, I want to talk about mixture consistency. This is something that many students have problem with, and I have that problem when I just started. Now, as much as I want to give you a secret ninja trick that will transform your sense of mixing, I need to be real with you. This takes practice, but I do want to offer you a good way to practice your mixing, and that is. Value study. I think it's important to practice mixture consistency before color mixing. We often try to learn both at the same time, and that's a bit overwhelming, especially if you are a beginner. You need to worry about water and paint ratio as well as the color you are mixing. So instead, let's focus on one thing at a time. This is why value study is a very effective way to practice your sense of mixture. Since you are only using one color, you don't need to worry about mixing color at all. You just need to focus on mixing different consistency. And no, you do not need to pick a complicated scenery. Just a simple object or a very simple scenery will do. Use a single color like neutral tint, pants gray. I use cobalt black from Mission Gold. It doesn't matter as long as it can get nice and opaque. Seriously, I wish this is something I did when I started to learn watercolor. This is going to make learning paint mixture much easier. I'm going to do a very quick demo on value study, but I'm pretty sure you saw some of it from my channel already. But here it is. Okay, so this is a photo that I shot near where I work. There's a little river, and I saw this specific rock, and I really like the reflection and the lighting. So I'm not going to talk too much about techniques, composition, and things like that. I'm just mainly going to focus on the mixture itself. So I grab like a big brush and with some water, and I just clean my palette. So I got a bunch of dirty water, and I am mixing. A mixture for my middle value. So just by looking at the two different values on my palette, you can see the difference between the middle value mixture and the dirty water. And that's something that you want to start observing your palette is that when you look at your palette, you should have some idea what consistency are you mixing right now. So if you're mixing a sort of a moist consistency for the middle value that I'm painting right now, you still see a little bit of droplets and streak here and there, and a little bit of puddling, but not as big puddle as look at the dirty water there. So it's different. So you need to start to look and feel the difference between a kind of moist middle value mixture and a light watery wash. So I'm just painting the big shape right now. I'm trying to connect all the middle value together right now. So the rock and the rock bed in the river and the reflection, I'm just trying to connect everything into a single value right now. So this is a good practice because you want to mix a nice consistency throughout. You don't want anything to all of a sudden become very watery. So now I'm painting a lighter value with some more watery mixture. Now this is a very light wash because I'm mostly using dirty water. So you can tell it reacts differently. It's a little bit more watery and it's lighter. So here I'm trying to blow this dry because I want to finish this quick value study rather quickly. So I blow this dry. So we got the middle value and the light value. So now I'm taking a smaller brush. So usually smaller brush holds a little bit less water, so it's better for mixing a darker consistency. I just grab the paint from the well and then without going back to much of the water and I'm just using the moisture I have on my brush. If I need to use a little bit of water is to revive the dry paint there because when I squeeze out the paint, I don't use it up and I just leave it dry. So adding a little bit of water will revive the paint for me to use. So I'm just painting the dark shape. So again, this is a very good way to practice your value and also your mixture consistency because you don't need to worry about any color. This is just one single color. I'm using cobalt black from Mission Gold. and 
I just need to worry about the value and the mixture consistency. And again, the value is very, very simple too. I'm just breaking it down to two to three values. So all you really need to focus is your mixture consistency and the value you are trying to mix. And they go hand in hand too. The more watery your mixture is, the lighter it is. And the more thicker, drier mixture you do, the darker it's going to be. So it is a very, very good exercise. So now with two value, you start to see a little bit of form in the rock and as well as the lighting. So now I am using an even darker mixture because there's some subtle dark that can separate the rock and a reflection and some other dark details. So this is a very rough, I finished the whole thing in about like 10, 15 minutes. So this is a very rough painting, but also a very nice study. I actually like the end quite well. So I preserved the light on the left of the rock and just paint some more darker shape. But because this is a drier mixture, it's not going to explode, create cauliflower edges. It's just going to create some soft shape within the wet wash. So now that I'm starting to get into it, I start to work on the detail just a little bit more. But I have quite a lot of fun whenever I'm doing value study because it is very, very simple and it is just fun to play with your brush and the trying to mix different mixtures and value. So here is the finished painting. Again, very simple, but I believe this is a great exercise for you to practice your mixing consistency. After you're familiar with mixing different values and consistency, you can then move into color. And don't start with 15 to 20 colors. Start with just three to four colors, like how I show you from last week's video. Okay, I hope you like this week's Tip Tuesday. Please like and subscribe if you like my content. I'm Eric from Cafe Watercolor. See you next time.